Hello, I'm Julian Cisneros. I'm a film composer, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about the microcosm. This pedal has become an indispensable tool in my studio. Literally anything you put through it sounds incredible, and I'm not just saying that. It's one of those pedals that really inspires you and gets you outside the box, gets you outside of using sample libraries, using presets, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna show you how I use it in a very practical sense. And the first thing I'm gonna show is a simple low drone going through this and specifically the ARP setting. Next thing I'm gonna do is send a simple sequence all the way through it using the interrupt, which is really cool because interrupt kind of gives it this really cool glitchy vibe. Now one of the best things about this pedal is that it can be clocked. Huge deal because that means that everything you do and put through it will be in time with your project. Really cool because you can take something that's a very different tempo than what you're working on and it will sync. So I'm gonna take this uh, kind of uh, drum beat out of this tape machine, which is a different tempo over this filtered beat. And we're gonna see kind of what it does. Another really cool way I like to use this pedal is to just put simple hi-hat patterns through it. You never really want to have a very simple pattern just going through the whole piece of music, so this is really cool to kind of mix it up and have something evolve over time. All right, let's move to the granular part of this pedal, which I think is one of its biggest strengths. I love the haze setting. Anything you put through it is gonna sound completely different and completely surprise you. So I like to just send random sounds through and see what kind of comes out on the back end of this. Let's go check it out.
All right, so the last thing I'm gonna show you is the phrase looper. This is a feature that I kind of slept on for a while. I didn't really know how I could, you know, practically implement it. But as soon as you kind of start layering different loops and then you start adding reverb and then you start adding the granular, a lot of incredible sounds start coming out of this. And you realize that this is a really powerful ambient landscape designer. Let's check out what it does. That sounds absolutely insane. <laughs> Again, the microcosm is that tool that I turn to whenever I need inspiration, whenever I need to think outside the box. And when you're writing all kinds of music, lots of different genres, or maybe you have a really tight deadline, you always wanna find that inspiration somewhere. And sometimes it's really hard to, when you just kind of step away from the computer and you kind of start experimenting with this type of tool, magic always comes out of it. Thank you so much for listening and checking out how I use the microcosm.